the next topic that we are going to discuss is about placement group so whenever we are launching our ec2 instances okay then i told you that you can launch in the networking section or in the networking part the previous module we have understood that ec2 instances would be launched inside of our subnets okay so these subnets where they are created they are created inside of availability zones right what are availability zones they are nothing but combination of data centers so ultimately if we see this ec2 instance would be there residing inside of the data center into some of the server rack so to minimize the failure of instances okay or to minimize the impact of the hardware failure is aws would try to place all your instances you know onto different physical hardware okay so what will happen over here is if it is you know by default spread our ec2 instances is spread into different physical hardware but if i want to select that how i want my ec2 instances to be placed because sometimes it may happen that i want low latency between my ec2 instances then in that case we can use something called as placement groups so we can understand how the related instances are placed on underlying hardware so to suit our workloads so there is no extra cost for using this placement group and there are three types of placement groups cluster spread and partition let us try to understand all of these three one by one so when you see the cluster placement group then what will happen it will put all your ec2 instances in the same rack into one availability zone okay so what will happen over here if this one rack goes down all your instances all your instances will go down this is required when you need high performance application where the close proximity is required with each other so to avoid the network latency right but if the workload is mission critical or you need the high availability of your application then this is not at all recommended because if one of the rack is failing then the entire application will go down so the availability would be affected over here so what is the other option how to overcome this so for overcoming this we have a spread placement group so each instance is placed into one distinct rack so each rack would be having at most of one instance for that particular application so even if one rack goes down we have our instances running in other two racks which will handle the uh, requests that are coming to our application so this is best for high availability or mission critical applications but it is not suitable for high performance application because instances are spread much far away or oh, they are there on different racks so we would be facing the latency issues over here so what is the solution for that i want you know the combination of cluster and spread then go with the partition placement group so into the partition placement group what will happen we would be having one availability zone inside of that we would be having several racks so instead of placing one ec2 instance on one rack we place multiple ec2 instances on that particular rack and we have such multiple racks so here the hpc would also be you know taken care of and also even in case of hardware failure if this rack is going down we have two other racks which are running our application so high availability is being also maintained so this is the solution where you can get the benefits of both the cluster and the spread placement groups